Hello, and welcome back to the newly titled The Hoax Show. Madison picked the name. I did not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We, no. Okay. After we a long You never forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's good. No, it's actually good. But please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas YouTube channel. We're catching up with Madison because it's been a long time since I've seen her. And a long time since you guys have seen her, too. Mm-hmm. I'm excited oh. to be back. <laughs> I actually just informed Maddie that it is 32 degrees outside. She had absolutely yeah. no idea. <laughs> clearly, clearly I'm dressed for it. I'm in my puffer, but I didn't know it was snowing. I've been inside all day since like at least 12. So I haven't seen any windows. I'm in a office room, but I haven't, haven't looked, mm-hmm. but that's absolutely crazy. Cannot believe it's that cold when it was 87 yesterday. It was 87 yesterday. Blows I thought like we were heading into spring already. So I'm really surprised. It's just flurries right now. You know, Texas doesn't really get any real snow. So just a little get, something, get something. the flurries, the baby snow. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so what's been new with you? So I guess what's been new with me is we have started spring practice. We started about a month ago. So we're, we just hit 20 hour weeks this week. So we picked it up from eight hours. Um, it's been really fun. It's been challenging. It's been hard. We've done a lot of fitness and a lot of weights, but it's been fun to get to just go out there and play. We're really just going out there and using the time that we have to just play games. And so it's been fun getting to play against each other and like mix up the teams and all that. So practice has been really fun. Um, outside of soccer, I have an internship now. So I have an internship with Longhorn Network, so that's been super fun. It's been a learning process, but it's been so fun to learn about this side of the industry and really get to edit for Longhorn Network, get to shoot some photos, but it's been really fun to get to do all of that. That's so exciting because I had a internship with Longhorn Network, and I told you about that, and it was... It was my first internship. It was really exciting. And just all I can say is just take in the opportunities. Make sure anything that you, my problem was that the stuff that I edited, you know, like the reels, the highlights, yeah, yeah. Just the pictures I took, I didn't put them in a portfolio. So uh, it's pretty much just kind of like hearsay. All the stuff I learned, I have no way of showing it at all because I'm just like, yeah. you know, it's in their database. You see them in Longhorn Network with the two double computers and yeah it's a lot it was a lot for me so I didn't know that's what you're supposed to do (laughs) well hey good tip no I didn't really think of that either I guess they kind of go off the server at some point but hey noted my next projects will be in a portfolio yeah just just a little something something a little tip serenity. (laughs) always appreciated so where are you wanting to go? I know that this is just your first internship, but what what do you want to do after, you know, soccer is over? Yeah, so this is actually my second internship. This past summer, actually, I had an internship with Fox Sports, and it was so much fun. Like, it was virtual, but it was very similar role to what I have at Longhorn Network. It's a sports production intern, so I basically got to sit in on some projects we kind of had a semester project working with NASCAR. That was really fun. Um, but yeah, so this is now my second internship and it's same type of thing like sports production, but I'm getting to do a lot more hands-on stuff with this internship, which has been really fun. Um, so afterwards, I would love to be on camera. I, I kind of like in your su- shoes, I remember we talked about it a little bit, but I'd love to be interviewing athletes and the goal is to be sideline reporter for football. I think that would be the most fun thing ever. And I love football, but I think that would be the main goal, but just really anything in the like sports television industry. Like, I think that would be absolutely incredible. Do you want to continue with soccer? I was thinking about it for a little bit. I'm taking my fifth year, so I will be at Texas for another year. So that will be very fun. Um, But as of now, I'm considering moving on to my professional career in the sports media industry. I just think I'm so passionate about that now. And I found such a love for that, that I 
like cannot wait to get started and just really jump into that industry so I think that's as of now the plan who knows plans could change and if an opportunity presents itself I mean totally I would jump at it but I think as of now I'm calling it quits in December but who knows okay what made you want to take your fifth year then I just felt like my time here wasn't done so I was injured my freshman sophomore year I had back problems so it was not fun being out for that long and then my junior year was our COVID year so really my first season was senior year was this past year that I consider like a full season that I was healthy that there were no COVID restrictions so I'm like why not give it another shot I feel like I didn't really get the full experience of the whole four years and kind of getting to play a full season when I was healthy like with the COVID year and all of that and so I really just kind of wanted to jump at the opportunity and I feel like we were all granted the COVID year and I have I have seven years if I want them I'm not going to take all seven but I do have seven um but I think it's just something that I was like yeah might as well just jump at the opportunity and keep playing because I felt like my time wasn't done with soccer yet (laughs) and take me back to NCAAs this past in November I was about to say year but in November take me back yeah so we played SMU at uh in Dallas and and that was yeah I guess that was first weekend in November um and we didn't get the run that we wanted we lost that game so we were out in the first round but it was definitely a great experience getting to even make the tournament. I know a lot of teams that expected to make the tournament didn't make the tournament. So um, it was great to get to compete and all of that. But I think this year we're definitely hoping for a further run than first rounds. Um, definitely, obviously, a loss. You know, It never turns out the way you want it when you lose. But hopefully we'll get a further run this time. But we did get pretty far in Big 12, which was exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and tell me about the team atmosphere now like you said yeah you guys were out in the first round of NCs but that's a big opportunity to even be there so yeah totally feeling about that so I think we're all kind of on the same page where we're so fired up and ready to like because okay so reflecting back on big 12 season I forget if we even talked about this but we were undefeated throughout big 12 season and Mm we we still got second because we tied one too many games so I think like knowing that in the back of our minds that's what fires us up the most is like that ring was ours and it was taken from us because we tied one too many games and so we're definitely all on the same page where we're like we we need a ring this year whether that's Mm -hmm. big 12 conference big 12 tournament or hey give us a national championship ring by all means but yeah um, it needs to be straight dominant the whole year literally (laughs) literally but I think we're just very excited to just take this season by storm we have some games in the spring so it'll be fun we have two new transfers so that'll be really cool to kind of test them out and and we have a lot of returners too, which is exciting. So I think it'll be it'll be fun to get to play in the spring and test out the waters with this fire that we have in us right now. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you about. Like, have you guys had any new people? You just said you guys had two new recruits. Who are they? New transfers, not recruits. Yeah, yeah. So we have a uh, Jilly. She is from Penn State, and then we have her name is Taylor. She's from Baylor. <laughs> that rhymes, but um. Yeah, so they're both, I believe, in their sophomore year, if I'm if I'm remembering if they took their COVID years or not, but they're both in their sophomore year, and I think they'll be great additions to the team. They already fit in so well, so I'm excited to see them get some spring time and get to see how they work with the team, for sure. Absolutely. Well, that's yeah. all I have for you, Madison. I that's know it was great. short, but I just want short to catch sweet. Just <laughs> Yes. Please just enjoy the Longhorn Network internship. Make the most Thank of it. You. Do everything you need to do to get into this world because it can be tough for women. So yes, do everything seriously. That you need to do. And I'm ready to pave okay, the way. So look at us. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the whole show. I like the name, the whole show. Me too. And it has a nice ring to it. <laughs> it does. On the Orange Plus Texas Football YouTube channel.